Tamil Nadu is seeing the latest chapter of Star Wars between actors turned Mehta's Kamal Hassan and Rajnikan. Just a few days ago, Rajnikan backed the controversial Salem Chennai Expressway project. Kamal Hassan has now issued a statement slamming Rajnikan. He said Rajni should meet the people of Salem who have been opposing the project before he backs the project. First, let's listen into what Rajnikan had to say. Here, the body was very, very tender one, or no. So, one day, not a good year. And the market was done, maybe you told you, told you, this thing as a viper like a record, maybe a villain, a villain, a very good. And the one thing, so you both celebrate, celebrate, only you put it in the front of her. And the Yupir, Petro, and the Kong, and the Lam, and the two, and will come to the Mansa, and the Lam, 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 Pramod Madhav joining us on this story. Pramod, uh, Rajnikanth has made his position very clear, though he did try to do a bit of the balancing act, saying that the farmers and those impacted must be compensated. But it's clear that he stands in favor of this project. Now, I believe Kamal Hassan has a very strong reaction to that. Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. The thing is that Rajnikanth on that day when this question was put forward, he had come back from his shoot and he simply stated that, uh, uh, that these kind of pro projects are required for the development of the nation. And then he went ahead and stated that like the, the government should see to that the farmlands are not damaged or people who are losing the lands, especially the farmers, should be provided either a appropriate compensation or a different for form of land so that like they will not have to worry about losing their precious land. On the other hand, Kamal Hassan has now come forward. He's asking a very pertinent question. Seems like Rajnikanth, uh, when he was during the shoot, he did not uh, notice what was happening in the state. For instance, a countless number of protests against the Salem Chennai Aitway Lane because the Chief Minister first called, first called it as his pet project. Then he put the blame on the centre, stating the centre is the one which is initiating this project. Now Kamal Hassan comes forward and asking, like, what what number of people or the people from which area asked for this eight-way lane? This is the first question he is putting forward. Why is it required when already there are three highways that is connecting Salem to Chennai? Why is there, where, where is the necessity for this particular eight-way lane? Had the farmers come forward and said that if this eight-way lane is not constructed, they will lose. I mean, they will lose their life source and they cannot transport their goods. These are the questions put forward by Kamal Hassan. In a way, he yes. states that Rajnikan should go and meet the people, talk to them, find out if they need the pro this particular project, then comment on it. Right, which is very interesting, Pramod, because this is a, a, a direct jibe at Rajnikan because Rajnikan made that point about how this is important for people. So here is Kamal Hassan asking. Who are those people? Have you spoken to them? Now, politically, also, this makes sense for us to look at because now it seems uh, the battle lines are drawn, Pramod. Well, it surely does because, like, uh, almost two months ago, when we put forward the question if Kamal Hassan and Rajinkan will join hands, Rajinkan clearly stated that we are good friends, but just like how his movie is different from mine, his political ideology is also entirely different from mine. This is how he gave an answer to that. And not just that, this particular kind of Star Wars also occurred during the Tutukurin protest. Also, Rajinkan went, met the people. Here, he stated that it was absolute, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the uh, intelligence uh, completely failed, and he went over there and he said that uh, the people who got or died and uh, the protest went out of hand because of the involvement of anti-socials. When yes. this question was put forward to Kamal Hassan, he simply said that if those people who protested there are anti-socials, so am I. This itself very clearly demarcates how their uh, political mm. ideology is differing now. Yes, so in both these issues, uh, the leaders have made their positions clear that they stand in direct contravention with each other's views. Thanks for joining us, Pramod, with your inputs on this.